Hey guys, it's Renata and welcome back to my channel. I have a super exciting video for you all today. I get a ton of DMs from high school students, even as young as like freshmen who really want to get into the fashion industry and don't really know how. So I figured I would give some tips for high school students who want to enter the industry. Disclaimer, I did not pursue my fashion dreams starting in high school. I thought that I wanted to do medicine when I was in high school. I did all I could to get into a great college so that I could go to a really good pre-med program. But I have been in the industry for a little bit. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I've gotten some amazing internships such as Australia Renta, Tibby, a PR agency where I got to work with brands such as Fossil and Swarovski and stuff like that. I also currently work as coach as a production assistant. So I definitely know my way around the industry and this is just some steps that I think would be helpful if you are in high school. I am by no means an expert in this field because I didn't live, well, I didn't live through it myself and I'm still pretty early on in my career, but these are just some ideas that I think would be helpful. So let's get started. Step number one, you need to get good grades in school. Be a nerd in high school. Nerds in high school always end up the best. In my opinion, you should not be caring about dating and partying and all of that in high school. Save that stuff for college. Focus on getting good grades because the better grades you get, the more opportunities will open up for you. Really study hard, try to take AP classes, um, or IB if your school does that, um, no matter what industry you want to go into, even fashion, especially since a lot of more of the business side of fashion jobs, like PR and like marketing stuff, like do really need some math and good writing skills and good communication skills, which you really get the foundation with when you're in high school taking like English class and stuff like that. Like your foundation of that good communication is always in high school. So really, really pay attention to school. Next, I would do research into what type of fashion career you wanna go into. So this also applies for if you're in college as well, but especially if you're in high school and you know you wanna go into fashion, you wanna start early, you need to use Google. Like I cannot sit here and list out all the fashion careers you could possibly have because there are so many, I don't even know half of them yet. They're like, you'd be surprised on how many different jobs. Like I didn't even know my kind of job existed until about a year ago. And I also didn't know what fashion PR was when I was in college until like I met someone who did it and then I did more research into it. Like I only knew about like marketing and merchandising and that kind of stuff, but there are a ton of different careers. So it would be really, really great if you knew early on what type of fashion career you wanted to do. So just go onto Google, search up like buying, merchandising, production, PR, marketing, like digital marketing, social media analysts, like there's so, so many jobs in fashion that you can do. And the best way to figure out what you want to do is just by reading about them and learning about them. And what sounds like it would be fun to you, what would fit your skill set. There's actually an amazing series by British Vogue. It's a little bit dated now. I think it's like pretty old, but it was hosted by Alexa Chung. And she basically just goes through the fashion industry and asks different people like, what they do in the industry and what their job is like and all that kind of stuff. And I found it really helpful when I was deciding what type of fashion job I wanted to do because I watched all the videos and I kind of was able to see what I liked and didn't like. And that's how I kind of like fell into PR as well. Like I heard from people at UNC who did PR, but I also watched those videos and was like, oh my God, I need to do this. So I'm going to link a video below to that series. If you're interested in fashion, I 100% recommend watching it. Your next step is to definitely figure out what type of college experience you would like. So there, you have many different options for college. Like there are small liberal arts schools, there's big state schools, there's fashion schools, there's fashion schools outside of New York City, there's fashion schools in New York City. And you really, really have to research the schools and the types of schools and figure out which will be the best fit for you. For instance, if you want to be a fashion editor, I would maybe not choose a school like a fashion school in LA because all the big publishing houses are in New York and you'd want to intern during the semester and you'd have a better chance interning during the year and having more internships if you were in New York at a fashion school there. So don't need to be at a fashion school depending on which kind of fashion career you want to go into. So if you want to do design, you probably have to go to a fashion school because that would be the only type of school where you can have the resources to actually make clothes and stuff. 
But if you want to do fashion marketing or fashion PR, you do not have to go to a fashion school. You can go to a regular college, maybe something in state that you can save money at. Um, I definitely will say that not every state school is created equal. I would look for one that has like an amazing alumni network. UNC Chapel Hill, I say has a really strong, small, but strong alumni network in fashion. I think UGA has a really, really solid fashion program. I have, I am always meeting people from UGA for some reason in the fashion world. And I know that they have like a specific major, I believe in fashion. My school didn't even have a fashion major, but I was still able to make it because of the alumni network. Schools always have great alumni networks. So if you can get into one of those, great. So yeah, so like if you want to do like the more businessy side of fashion, you definitely do not have to go to, go to a fashion school. You can still save money in state or go to a school closer to home or do that kind of thing and still be able to make it. However, again, I do caution you should look for a school with a good alumni network. As for if you should go to fashion school, um, you definitely like if that kind of college experience is exactly what you want, then just go for it. Like an FIT, I would just research the different types of fashion schools and see which one is the best fit for you. And not all fashion schools are in New York City again. There's some in LA, there's some in like Ohio. Like I know a lot of people from Kent State in New York City who work in fashion. So like there are so many, so many options out there and you just have to do the research yourself and read about the lifestyle, read about what each program can offer and figure that out on your own. For me, even though I wanted to like go into medicine and everything, when I was choosing a college, the most important thing for me was honestly being outside of New York because I knew I was going to come back and you can live city life anytime. And I am for, I'm first generation American and I wanted that like classic college experience that like my parents didn't have. So I chose to go to a school like UNC that had the Greek life, the football games, the like very raw, raw college campus culture. And that was super important for me to find. And I'm really happy I got to do that and still do fashion. So it is very possible to do both. I will also recommend that when you are looking for a college, you really, really, really pay attention to the cost of your education. It definitely makes it harder to live in New York City post-grad if you have student loans. So I would try to pick a school where you can minimize those as much as possible. You should not be going into extreme debt for your education. It is, it will make your future a lot harder. So please try to consult people in your life or guidance counselors or whatever to make a smart financial decision with whatever college you decide to pick. If you want to enter the fashion industry, you definitely should try to get as much experience as possible as early as you can. Do not feel pressured if you don't have anything. Like you should not feel super, super pressured to have this amazing resume. Obviously it helps if you are out of like high school with like a ton of experience, but honestly, not that many people have that. And you really shouldn't be focusing on that unless you wanna to go to a fashion school. If you don't wanna to go to a fashion school, do not worry too much about joining fashion clubs, having fashion internships, like that kind of stuff, because honestly, like you can get started on that stuff in college. Like I did not start getting internships until junior year of college. And I still ended up working for some amazing companies. So it is never too late. I actually listed a ton of really, really helpful tips on how to find local internships and opportunities in your hometown in my video about back to school tips. So I will link that below. Basically just try and join your school magazine. And if there isn't one, start one, start a podcast, start a blog, start something so that it shows that you have interest in the industry. Go to like work retail, work at a local boutique, shadow the buyers at a local boutique, like things like that, like are still very valid experiences. And now with remote working, I'm sure there are so many other opportunities open that you can definitely get some kind of work experience in the fashion world. It may not be at Balenciaga in New York City, but it will be something and it is valuable. And just don't be too hard on yourself about that stuff yet. A lot of places do not open up to high school students. If you're 16 and you have no fashion experience, it's not gonna be the end of the world, but I definitely think you should be proactive if you know fashion's your path and try to create some project of your own. I really think that actually like starting a podcast, even if no one listens to it, is a really good option because like you can interview people in the industry and then you can network that way and build connections that way. 
um i've seen some girls like do that and like they've been able to talk to some pretty amazing people like most people are totally down to just sit down for an interview and like especially the young people and pass on that wisdom so i think a, i think a podcast is a really good kind of way like i think a podcast is a really good project to start because you can network while you're also doing this passion project about fashion my last advice would definitely be to network network on linkedin create a linkedin profile even if you're super young like they're super super helpful i also have a video on how to network in the fashion industry using linkedin i'll link it below as well honestly it's the most useful tool that i have i think that high school might be a little bit too early depending on the amount of experience that you have but if you started that podcast or magazine or you shadow those local buyers like add those people on your linkedin profile connect with them keep those connections the people you interview request them on LinkedIn. Like if you're doing things like that, then I would make a LinkedIn and reach out to people and try to connect with people in the industry already. Um, it will be a little bit harder because a lot, I feel like a lot of people only accept connections for people that went to the same college as them or worked at the same company or something. But I'm sure that you could figure out a way. I left some templates on my last video again that I'm gonna link that you can like kind of use to reach out to them. Yeah, hey so that is pretty much it for my video. I know super short. This isn't an area that I'm super confident in just because I didn't look for fashion opportunities in high school, but this is just what I would imagine would be successful. And like what I would really respect, like if a high school student came to me and showed me that they did these things, if you would like to know more fashion tips or more about the fashion industry, subscribe to my channel. If you love New York City content, New York City vlogs, I will be uploading those every Thursday and fashion career tips every Tuesday. Uh, I would also love if you guys would follow me on Instagram at Rendegrella and also on TikTok, also at Rendegrella. Bye.